Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Knasty390 here. We are back with some MLB 17 The Show franchise, Oakland Athletics franchise rebuild. This is episode number two. Where if you guys missed last episode, basically we just finished the draft. We had a great, great draft. We I, real quick in case you missed it. We got a 93 potential, 88, couple high 70s, and 89, 82, and then like one of the last picks in the whole draft. We got an 88 overall potential starting pitcher. Now, at the end of last video, I asked you guys for some ideas of players to get for our team, either who should we trade or who should we pick up. And one of you guys mentioned there is a pitcher for the Dodgers I mentioned uh, to pick up. I believe its name is uh, Bueller. Uh, Walker Bueller, yes, yeah, someone mentioned him. So I'm going to try to pick him up. Uh, I think he's exactly what we need. Uh, he's a starting pitcher. He's young. He has an A potential. He's not going to play on our team this year. However, I could see him playing on the team in a year or two. So, I think what we're going to do is going to take our, our one of our A potential shortstops and put him in it. It's like it's very rare in baseball, prospect for a prospect trade. It doesn't happen often. The last one I can really think of would be the um, Jesus Montero for Michael Pineda trade. I remember that was like they were both prospects or like they just got called up. Very rare that happens. Um, now, the question is who to keep. Now, Mon uh, they're both 67 overalls. Barreto's struggling a little bit in AAA. I wish you could see their AAA stats while we're here. Um, Montero, uh, Mateo, excuse me, has really good speed. Not great fielding. Neither of them great fielding. Um, but I'm going to probably keep Mateo. I feel like he ha he's better for what we want. And if we put Barreto into the trade, we almost have it done. We really don't need to put much else in. Actually, I'm going to see if we can kind of maybe get rid of a contract or two. Um... We really don't have like any big contracts, which is good job by, uh, I guess, by Billy Bean. Uh, so, yeah, um, let's see what we could maybe include. I don't want to really give up much. Maybe like a low-level prospect, uh, like this Sheldon Noose. Uh, he's 58 overall. We put him in. That gets it done. So, Walker Bueller is on the team. So, we got ourselves a good starting pitching prospect and a potential. We have two now. So we actually have, um, I kind of like what we have uh, going forward in regards to prospects. Like once this offseason is done, we'll finish the regular season. We'll get into the offseason by the end of this video. You can kind of see what we have. Actually, you know what? Mm, should I call up Bueller? Or Puck's not ready. He's struggling a little bit. Bueller's pitching well in the minors. We are going to call him up. Not it's double A. But you know what? Actually, you know, there's no reason to call him because we want to keep his service time low. So, but we are gonna have him in AAA. Puck is in AAA, kind of struggling, but I think I think it's best for him to leave there. We there's no reason for us to call up Bueller and waste some service time for him. So we're gonna just put him into the rotation, the minors, let him get get some innings, uh, continue to improve, and then he will be ready. He's going to be on our team next year. Uh, there's no doubt about it. I'm just gonna just quickly put some. Oops. Don't want Ryan LeVar away there. Uh, I really don't care about this too, too much. Um, we'll continue simming. Uh, and we'll get to the... This is the, the major leagues. And we'll see at the trade deadline what to do. Uh, right now, we are doing poorly, which is exactly what we want to do. Uh, get another high pick next year. And then hope we hit on it like we did this year. And then I think we are all set to really just go into it. Now, this offseason... We will try to... Uh, my goal is to pick up... Ooh, we got an offer from the Twinkies. Uh, Big Sexy. There's no reason for me to pick up Big Sexy. That's pointless. Who are we even... We're not really giving up a prospect, but... There's no reason for that. I, I kind of want to, but there's just no reason. Um, I actually... We are going to have money. We are going to have a good amount of money, and I think it would be pointless for us to waste it. I think what I'm going to probably do is try to sign some older players to like a one-year deal. And... Mateo for Ronald Acuna. Ooh. Ooh. It's so hard to find a shortstop, but we can find outfielders. Um, we just drafted a left fielder, too. That was a very interesting trade, though. Um, all right, we are... Oh, Brewers again. Sean Manea, who is our, I guess, de facto ace, even though I do like what he can bring. Um, he only has one year of service time for Brett Phillips, who... Okay, that's... that That's player... Really good field or er, solid field, really good arm, solid speed, not much of a hit tool. Now, what is this Lucas Eckrig? I might got his name wrong. Eh, it's not bad, but I want the pitcher. He's he's like what we had the closest thing to like ready made. But let's 
see if we can maybe get a prospect or two additionally. Um, well, I guess let's take a look at people who are... I mean, there's no reason for us to keep relievers. So if reliever is doing well, let's just throw them out and see if we can get a good prospect or two. You never know. Sometimes a, a team's going to be like... They're going to really want a player, and they'll give us like someone good. We can get like a B-level prospect for this reliever who is an 83 overall, who has value, not for us, though. Because by the time we're good, we in a year or two, who knows what his overall will be. We can find someone. So we can sign a reliever in the free agency. Now, I'm not going to give him away, though. Let's just be real. Um, let's see if we can... There's Sandy Alcantara, who actually just got traded to the Athletics in the Steven... Oh, no, he got traded to the uh, Marlins, excuse me in the Marcel Osuna trade. That is actually an interesting trade. I might do that. Um, we can get... Ooh, Steven Jennings is 18, 56 overall. B, there's a, that's a that's a prospect. Tristan Lutz, potentially. I really hope someone... I would love to get, like, an 18-year-old A potential with, like, a 50 overall. Like, that wouldn't be bad. That is, like, a huge project. Brandon Little's there. Uh, there's a reliever there. I really don't care too much about. I mean, we are getting offers. Ooh, I kind of like, even though he's a shortstop, I like that. Um, Brian Hernandez. Alex Jackson, that actually might be the move. I think this is the trade right here. He's a catcher. We have, like, nothing in the catching department. Unless we get just something overwhelming. Bubba Thompson's there. Uh, we are definitely going to take that trade. Ooh, Tyler Mar Marlette, who's a little higher overall but older. I'll probably take the other guy, Chris Rodriguez. Wander Javier, I actually don't know who that is, Miguel Monte, I do know who most of these prospects are, not all, but most, Zach Collins, know him, and yeah, I don't think we got, Sam Travis and Ben Taylor, eh, nah, yeah, we're definitely going to take the catcher, I believe he was from the uh, Braves, Alex Jackson, 62 overall, 21 years old, is he in another trade, nope, so we're also going to get a, a, a nothing closer, so we get that. We save a little bit of money. That's definitely something that I think was smart on our end. Um, Petit. Can we maybe get something for Petit? Let's see if we can get another prospect. Like maybe something a little higher. He, He's he's a little old. Actually, probably not. We're probably not going to get something that's good. That actually isn't too bad. Um, we're going to fly through this real quick to see if I see any A's or something like that. I may even take like a major league ready player. Uh, we, we, Chung Wang, there's a reliever, he's, he's 25, however, Brandon Little, I mean, I've heard of him, he's like, should be a player, Desmond Lindsay, I thought I just saw a catcher, uh, did I? No, maybe not, uh, I, cause I say, I'll take, always take catchers, catchers always have value in this game, um, Chris Rodriguez, these are a lot of the same names, Tyler J. I believe he streams on Twitch. I'm thinking of someone else. Zach Collins again. Uh, probably should take Zach Collins, to be perfectly honest. You know what? Before we say yes to anything, let's see what's out there for MLB ready. Could we get someone who's maybe can help us in a year or two? Um, like, even if they're MLB ready. Oh, I saw an A there. But, like, yeah, not really. Okay, you know what? We're going to go back to prospects. I already know what we want. I know what I want. I'm going to get it. All right. He is on the White Sox. We're taking Zach Collins. And I guess we're going to get Tito Polo as well. Zach Collins, I believe, has some pop in that bat. Yeah, 15 and 57. Uh, Alex Jackson, not really a whole lot there. Now, Collins is, does have, nah, not great fielding, actually. But you know what? As you can see, our catching is just weak. And they're, they're not going to be ready next year. Not, maybe not even be ready the year after that, but they're here. And catchers always will carry value. Once they start getting good, they will carry value. Um, I think that's pretty much it for starters. Now, I don't want to trade Chris Davis because he has something that we don't have. Don't have really in the pipeline of this franchise is power. He's got 26 bombs for us this year. He's in 255, which is, I mean, he's having a Chris Davis year. I mean, his war is probably around 1.52, if I had to guess. 1.1 so I mean I don't want to trade him but it would be it wouldn't make sense for us to check to see what anyone would be willing to offer us if I can get a legit prospect for him I love you Chris Davis three B's nothing really there I, I don't want there's a phrase I always hear trade a pony for a horse or like two ponies for a horse I'd always rather have the horse than the pony so I really wanted, I would need to see an A. I, if I'm only looking for an A potential right now, 
If I don't see it, Chris Davis is not getting traded. Like, because he he's only 29, in a year or two, he could either gain more value or help us a lot, Henry Owens. Um, so there's nothing there on Chris Davis. Now, I guess, now, Sean Manea, he's only 25, 83 overall. We could get a legit big-name prospect, like Jason Groom is there, Glaber Torres, Jose De Leon. However, I think he's he's someone that can help us now and in the future. He only has one year of service time. So I think we're good on the trade deadline. I think that's exactly what we needed to do. So let's finish the year. Um, I'm going to fix that. I like what we got. We got a little bit more depth in the system. And let's just cut a couple people. And we definitely have... I think we have the building blocks of a good team. The draft helped us so much. Uh, we got the extra... I don't know how to fix that. I don't care. Um, I don't care. We have the extra... Like, we got those extra catchers, which is one of our weakness. We got the pitcher, Bueller. We got we got rid of the glut at shortstop, but we improved pitching. And... Ooh, the Phillies offer us a trade? Um, Andres Blanco? I mean, no. That's like... No. They're trying to do what we were trying to do and try to get something for nothing, but we're good. And the thing is with these... Even, like, these B-level prospects I get... I can maybe package them for something in a year or two if we're, like, sneaking up on the playoffs. But let's take a real quick look and see how we are standings-wise. Are we the worst team in baseball? Worst standings. I always never can find it. Um, standings. Here we go. Please be the worst team in baseball. The Phillies have 51 wins. We have 48, but the White Sox are just clearly... They know how to tank. Um, I guess we can check... Oh, Shohei Otani is on the Red Sox. I mean, I'm a Red Sox fan, but damn, was he a free agent? We missed that. We might have, we might have made a mistake, boys. Um, Bueller's actually our best prospect right now, unless I missed it. I'm hoping to have though in the next year or two to have like five guys in this, maybe six. Mateo's 22, just for reference, if you guys want to see. We'll check this in uh, before the next season. And we got AJ Puck, who I think might be on the majors next year. He may be a year away as well. And I think that's it. Yep, so we had three. We'll have more, I guarantee that. We're going to build this. This farm system is going to be a, a juggernaut. That is our goal of this, to build it through the farm system. Always have a good farm system. So we're not going to have a number one pick. We're, looks like we probably have, we can check now. I'm going to say the number two pick, which I'm okay with. 59 wins. White Sox had 49. We have the third, I mean the second pick. That's huge. We We can't screw that up. That is something huge for us. Let's send the postseason. And we got the Nationals defeated the Yankees, so it's not correct. But that's what happened. We should have checked the stats for players if you guys wanted to see real quick. Manea kind of struggled. 4 4 4 ERA. But, you know, his overall went up. Um, everyone else I really don't care about. Cotton, I guess, could be a player for us. 4.55 ERA. That's not terrible. Um, we can't see. I wish you could see minor league stats, but you can't. There's our two young prospects for the pitchers. Uh, Chris Davis finished with 38 bombs. Not that's a Chris Davis year. Uh, Matt Olson, you know what? He he had a good year. 35 bombs, 35 home runs. He's really developed that power. Okay, so Matt Olson, we don't need a first baseman. Um, at 369 slugging, I mean, put that all together. His WAR was probably very good. Four and a half. That's a very good year. Chatham looks like he struggled quite a lot, unfortunately. But we do have some third baseman coming up. Other than that. No one here. I mean, Simeon's still young, but I think he's a guy we might move in the offseason or we might move for a piece because he, he hits power. He can't really field. His value is not really high. Um, yeah, two's actually higher than I thought, but we got Mateo, who's definitely going to be, able, I think he's going to be a huge player for us. So I think Simeon's going to get moved this offseason. So let's go to the offseason. Hitting coach has expired. Offseason beginning, you know, five days to negotiate. We all know this. Let's see who retired. Each row's on the Red Sox. He retired. Um, he's gonna make the Hall of Fame. Any other names? Eh, not really. All right, each row: Beltron and Jimmy Rollins. Rollins didn't play this year. Uh, all have retired. Congratulations. Welcome to Cooperstown. So, real quick. I what I like to do. So we need a. Kind of want to just fire anyone who's low. So I'm gonna fire the first base coach. Oh, you know what? I'm not. I would normally, but we kind of need to keep the money. So we're going to get a hitting coach. I'm going to have a little tip for you guys in a second on that. Right now, I'm not going to go through all this and s signing all these people. I'm going to do this in a second. You're going to see me in a second going through all those names and signing them. And I'll tell you anyone who we didn't re-sign.
All right, guys, I went through all this. It takes a good amount of time, but we did it. Uh, real quick, just I'm not going to go over all these like young guys like, or like minor league that are signed, but Manea. Now, I'm hoping he'll sign this deal. So I'm trying to just pay, like, basically, I'm giving him more money now for saving money in the future with Manea. I'm giving him a five year, $19 million deal. They'll take him to his free agency, but that's like $3 million and change a year. Um, Right now, we'll spend a little more money now, but we can afford that. Hopefully, in a couple of years when we actually have talent, that will save some money. Chris Davis, a two-year contract worth six million total, so that's three million a year. That's a steal with that power. Matt Olson, a two-year deal, something small. I mean, the way he played last year, I think that's well worth it. Uh, I'm gonna let Chris Hatcher go. Jesse Hahn, a one-year deal, 700k. Simeon, a one-year, 2.8 million, and I'm really gonna just try to trade him this offseason. That's my goal. Uh, other than that, not really just, just extended some people out. Um, now if anyone, like some of these players, I did not re- try to resign like this Chris Bassett, cause I'm not going to pay the, this guy who's a meh player a couple $500,000 a year. I'm trying to save it all together. All these pending contracts of everyone accepts is 19.2 million. We're going to have a good amount of money in the bank. If players sign Chris Carter signed, Manea accepted the offer. That's huge. That saved us so much money down in a few years like i'm okay with spending chris davis i'm okay with spending a little bit more money now because we have that money and save it in a year or two all right did anyone not sign it looks like everyone signed these people i didn't want to sign by the way um uh where i where is he uh harper uh Cavani, our first round pick from last year so as you can see he is a top 50 prospect in baseball so that's nice so here we are out oh, i gotta go one more day we are at free agency there are some big names out here. Now, they for some reason, they didn't do a lot of qualifying offers out there. Um, Hosmer got one, so we're not going to go after Hosmer. We don't want to give up a draft pick. We wouldn't have to give up our first round pick, but we have to give up our second round pick. So, players that we could go after, um, I mean, we can go after probably anyone. What is our money looking like? Um, I have it doesn't exactly say how much money you have, but I think we could afford some of these guys. But... I don't want to give up, like, I don't want to pay a lot of money long-term for a player because I feel like it's just not smart. Uh, let's see here. Hmm, this is very interesting. I mean, I think we should go after maybe a starter. So, like, Ariet, uh, Darvish or Arietta, how much are they going to cost? If I want to do, like, a one-year deal, and that's the thing, I don't want to do more than a year, I could, I'll put him, I'll give him, I'll give, let's see, at 15.5, Arietta's deal becomes the most interest we can get now we can't give them more interest than like the cubs maybe but we can do it pretty high so a one year deal for arietta we don't give up a draft pick hopefully he pitches well he'll help us out um and if he doesn't or if he doesn't we start gonna make the best we'll trade him brandon morrow i think is a guy we could probably get relatively cheap uh five million dollars wade davis is gonna cost us about 10 it's not bad and kimball is gonna cost us about 10 um, well, let's make an offer to Brandon Morrow. We're going to have to go up a little bit, but 5.6. I mean, I think he's going to accept that. It's going to be hard to outbid these guys for those players, but I'll take Brandon Morrow. I'm okay with that. Um, now, I'm trying to think of someone else we can maybe go after a player that could help us out a little bit. Hmm. I mean, we could maybe take someone like. Jonathan Lucroy, but we really don't have anyone at catcher. I think that would be a smart move. Like I said, I I might give Lucroy like a two year deal with or I could do like a one year player option or two year with a player option. Increases the interest up, give him more money. But let's try these other free agents and see how our money is. So we got Brandon Morrow. Five point six million. I think that's a great deal. It's cheap. Oh, we reach our maximum roster size. Hosmer signed with Texas. Okay. Mustak is signed with the Blue Jays. So people aren't moving. We got to clear out some uh, roster space. Basically, we have to just denounce some players. Um, so let's release you. Let's release you. Um, let's see. Who are some players I know I'm not going to keep? Actually, I want players who I'm not going to resign because our roster size will dwindle very fast but i want to make sure we can get these players all right that should be good now let's get back into it i think our offer on um new darvish got declined no jake excuse me got declined because of that so let's go back to that one year it was like a 15.6 15.6 15.6 15.6 15.6 15.6 15.6 15.6 
15.5. So that is better than the Cubs offer. And we got Arietta. There we go. So we're not... Oh, damn it, Lucroy signed. I'm not sure. If, to be perfectly honest, a four-year, $40 million deal. I'm not sure it could have been able to match. Hugh Darvish signs with the, the Nash. Damn, the Nationals beat load of that rotation so all right i don't know how much additional money we have but we can maybe go out and get another player i mean there's no reason to get cozart jd martinez isn't someone we need i mean we can the red sox want both damn well i could see them wanting kimbrell i don't know both those bars are full i don't think we can we can't give these guys what they want they're not going to want to sign with us they want to go to a contender um we can't get them we could maybe get Gio gonzalez I'll go after Geo. Maybe get him like a one-year deal. Uh, let's see. A $9.7 million one-year deal. I think we can afford that. Wade Davis is a national. Damn, nationals are going to be tough. I think they won the World Series too, right? Yeah, they did. Um, Geo went to the Yankees. Damn it. He went the extra year. All right, let's see what else is out there. Um, we. I just don't want to pay... I, don't want to pay J.D. Martinez for five years. There's no reason for us to do that. Don't want to. We, like, we're a small market. We have our budget is tiny. But a one-year deal increases a little bit. Or we can go. I mean, Carlos Gomez sucked. There's no reason to go after that. Um, you know what? Let's just let's take a chance with Greg Holland. Here's an 8.6 million dollar deal, Greg Holland. That is actually better than anything he's got. One year, Greg. Take it or leave it. And we got Greg Holland. I think that's that's good. J.D. Martinez is a Yankee. He's going to have to shave that beard. Um, so we added Brandon Morrow, Jake Arrieta, Greg Holland to this team. So we added pitching. And we got Sean Manea too. So we have two pretty good pitchers. Um, I'm definitely going to have Walker Bueller on the uh, major league team. Let's just release these guys. Get them out of here. Um, I'm not resigning him, so it's a moot point. I just want to make sure that these people are eligible. No one's eligible for the Rule 5 draft. I don't think anyone is. I think, if I remember right in this game, they have it where, like, I'm just going to add you to the 40-man anyway. Well, they don't. For some reason, like, they're not even, like, they don't. No one is eligible for the Rule 5 draft early on. Um, and look at this uh, DaCosta guy. If you guys remember from the last video, I even though he's a C potential, I told you he's going to be a major leaguer. He's going to be a major leaguer this year. He's, he's our best second baseman so we're gonna move him to the majors i mean he's there's i mean he's not gonna be an amazing player that's not a bad player and hopefully his potential goes up um richard lynn he's like i said he'll be in the bigs eventually uh simeon we're gonna look to move i'm gonna look to move him right now or i might wait to the end of the uh off season just for the fact that there will be some prospects who are under contract so we got fowler who's gonna be our center fielder next year so let's call him up in right field, I'm going to... Let's release you. I'm going to have probably uh, Cavani play up there. I'm just going to play him now. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not. He's not ready. I don't think he's ready. There's, I mean, yeah, I think it would be best to wait a year with him. Let him uh, get another year in the minors. So, you know what? We could go get another outfielder. I mean, Matt Joyce was on the team, but Matt Joyce is not good. I mean, is there someone who's not awful out there? Cameron Mayburn had an okay year. How much is he asking for? A $9 million one-year deal? $6 million for Gomez? I mean, Gomez has good fielding. If he can hit, like, 250 with, like, a 300 on base because of his fielding, his war is going to be halfway decent. I mean, a one-year deal, $6 million, dude. Take it or leave it. I think we can afford that. And he took it. Perfect. All right. So, now let's just sim a little bit. Uh, last day, I don't care about arbitration. Don't care. We got a trade from the Indians. Dan Ortero. No, thank you. Not bad in real life, but not what we're looking for. Rule 5 draft. Was he from our team? No. Look at Sims. He's an A potential was available. Damn. Oh, man. That stinks. Now, we could... There actually are players... We... Now, if we, if you guys don't know in the Rule 5 draft, if you take a guy, he has to be on your Major League roster for a full year. And then after that year, you can bring him down, call him down or something like that. Um... People, I mean, and if they don't, if you, they can't stay on the Major League roster and they get sent down, the, the original team that had them can reclaim them. I'm going to take one of these outfielders. Which one? <clears throat> I guess I'm probably going to take the youngest one. And he can play, if you can play center, you can play right left. There's some good uh, value there. We're going to draft him. There's no reason not to. 
Um, so we got a, 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 a fourth outfielder there, I believe, like. We're going to skip that. And there's a Rule 5 draft, so I'll take that. It's in a little bit longer. The Tigers interest. Chris Davis. All right. Jordan Zimmerman. I'm already going to say no to this. That's just an albatross of a contract. Unless we get an A potential prospect. And I don't think Lugo is. He's a B, but nope. Not for Chris Davis. I'm not taking on salary and nothing else of value. All right. So now we're going to try to, tr we're going to do a couple things. First off, we need, I believe, a hitting coach. So what we're going to do is find a guy who has an A grade, who's young, who doesn't really hurt anything that I care about. So drag bunning, I don't care, but he's 69. Nice. Um, plate vision, I like. Bunting, he's 35. Here we go. So he's going to help contact drag bunting. And, I mean, he's helping drag bunting. He's helping contact and plate dismount, which is nice. He's 35. Um, I'm going to give you a 15-year contract with not a lot of money. He's not going to really love it, but they will accept it. It's awesome. Um, Angels are offering a trade. Matt Olson, which I'm okay to... Uh, I'm not okay to move unless I'm getting a lot in return. All right, uh, Carlos Perez, who's not really much of a catcher. I believe he's a guy from the Indians. No, I'm thinking of someone else. Roberto Perez. Uh, we are also getting Jim Johnson, the reliever. I know who you are. You're nothing. And a, an average player. Nope. Not taking it. There we go. There's a hitting coach. Told you we'd get him. Now, let's see if we can trade Simeon for anything. See if we can get some like a good prospect for him. I know this video is running a little long. I'm enjoying it, though. So let's just see. We'll we'll finish this offseason. Um, see. Oh, so this is what I'm talking about. This, I like this trade. We get an A potential catcher and two Bs from the Cardinals. All right. Keep that in the back pocket for Simeon. Jeez. I don't know if it, we're going to beat that. Two Bs and an A, and the A is a catcher? Ooh, what was that? Um, No, nothing there. A 72 overall, that's not bad, but now we're looking for an A, but he's an outfielder. I'd rather have the catcher, and we get two Bs on top of it. Yeah, I think that's going to win it unless we get overwhelmed here at the last second. Yep, all right. It was the St. Louis Cardinals, Michael Smalls. I really want to see how you look like, man. Top 50 prospect, can't hit. Good fielder. I mean, he's... 20 he's like four or five years away but he's one of our best prospects actually we're going to see in a second who the top prospects in baseball are are excuse me so we'll end on that um can we see it here i think you have to actually send oh here we go top prospects actually i think we have to send the uh we have to send the spring training so let's do that and spring training now i believe this will be updated no, I guess it's not. Because some of these guys are played like last year in the majors. Um, all right. J.P. Crawford's number one. Otani's two. Bradley Zimmer's three. He's 25. That's not a prospect. Uh, like, Glaber Torres is a legit prospect. He's 21. But let's see. What do we have? Where is our number one prospect? And how many do we have? Harper Cavani. So he, our number three, uh, six overall pick last year. He's number 14. Nick Senzel's there. Um... Now, he's, it says MLB. I'm not going to have him play in the majors this year. Jorge Mateo. All right. He's number 18. He will be our major league shortstop. He's not going to really hit, but that speed will definitely help. Kevin Mason. They have him on the Angels. So that's good. Uh, let's see. Eloy Jimenez traded at last year's trade deadline. Walker Bueller we got from the Dodgers, 24. So, we have three. AJ Puck, 25. So, we have two pitchers back-to-back. -back. So, we have four total. Can we have five on this? Let's see. I'm trying to think of anyone else. Anderson Spinoza. I still wish you were on the Red Sox, man. Uh, Michael Kopech. Wish you were on the Red Sox, but I like uh, Chris Sale. Uh, Corey Ray. He's not on our team, but I know of you. Kyle Lewis. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Uh, Cal Quantrill. Another dad that played in the bigs. I thought. Oh, I guess that catcher is not on this. Unless I missed him. No, he's not on it. So we had four prospects on it. But that's not bad. We really have built up a good team. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. There is the off season. I guess I'm not going to end this one on a question just for the fact that of like what we're going to do because nothing for us to do. I'm going to make sure our sponsorships are all good. <coughs> and they are. Those are all set. Um, I will just next year. I mean, next video will start year two and we'll do the draft. Number two overall pick. We got to hit on that again. We do. We are all set. This team's looking good we're looking good we got a couple big real major league players on this team and if we don't end up competing this year which i don't think we will 
I will happily trade away for and get some legit prospects for Arietta, for Holland, for uh, uh, Brandon Morrow. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. I'll talk to you later, boys. Take it easy. Peace.